everyone, it's Pastor Allison. Psalm 95 verse 1 says, Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Many of you know that before I was called into the ministry, I was headed into the music industry to be a publicist. I dreamt of being surrounded by music all day long. I have always loved music from the time I was a kid and got my first pink boombox to when I was a teenager playing trombone in the marching band. Right now, in addition to scripture and prayer, music is one of the things that's really getting me through the tough days. So before I give you an update today, I just wanted to remind you to lean into the things you love, the things that give you joy. It's really important to be gentle with yourself during this time. Remember what makes you happy, what sparks your creativity, what you think is beautiful. Find those things and do those things because those things are from God and they will sustain your soul. One of the things Pastor Kyle and I love to do is lead worship and be with you on Sunday mornings. And praise the Lord, we're still able to do that even though it is remotely. We want to remind you that we are continuing with uh, streaming our services at 8.30 and 10.45 on Sunday mornings with an hour of Christian education in the middle beginning at 9.30. We also have prayer and fellowship on Sunday evenings at 7 and a Bible study as well on Wednesday evenings at 7 p.m. Both of those events are via Zoom and they can be accessed through our FPC website. We wanted to let you know that Troy Engel, our communication specialist, resigned from his position so that he could focus more on his music we are sad to see him go. He has done such a great job for us at FPC. We have redesigned that position just a little bit to focus on our immediate needs, which is obviously streaming and worship production. We are happy to announce that we have hired Kyle Gorin on a temporary basis for right now to assist us with our Sunday morning streaming as well as increasing the quality of our online presence, including our website, our Facebook page, and our YouTube channel. He actually has a film, he was actually a film major, so he will be able to help us with these types of videos as well. So we are very thankful for that. Cindy and Alicia will be focusing on our print media for the time being. Please send all your newsletter articles and your announcements for the bulletin to Cindy at office at fpcyork.org. Cindy and Alicia will be covering both the bulletins and the newsletters for now, so we want to thank them so much for their flexibility during this time. The reopening task force just met last Thursday. They are developing a plan for the church once we enter into the yellow phase. So as we wait for Governor Wolf's orders on that, we are developing that plan and we will let you know what FPC looks like during the yellow phase. Finally, if you are running low on supplies or food, please call us and let us know. We know that many of you who have faithfully supported the caring ministry with food may now be in a position where you are in need. You can place a confidential call at any time to either Pastor Kyle or myself, and we will make sure that you get the supplies that you need. We miss all of you so much, and we look forward to the time when we can gather together again. Until then, you are in our prayers and we will get through this together. Remember to do the things you love, the things that bring you joy, even if you have to adapt it a little bit. 
There you will find God's goodness, and there you will find God's grace. Enjoy the music. God bless you. Thank you.